Well, Season 1 is here, and my god, if you can find any way to enjoy the new Warzone map, well, hats off to you. I've been playing hours of multiplayer until joining a match where a couple of guys were talking about how bad the new Warzone map was, so as someone who's a sucker for pain, I decided to back out of the match, and if I could find one video clip to sum up my entire experience of playing on the new map... It f***ing sucked! And that's not because I'm not enjoying it. The reason why it's so bad is because it's not really a Warzone map. It's kind of in that weird territory of that game mode fire team. Anywho. The other thing I, I see people talking about is how it's a map exclusive game mode called Resurgence. Which features players divided up into teams of three. There's only 45 players. The problem itself is that people want games of 100 plus people. They're so used to it. Obviously, I don't think that matters. The problems I think that matter the most are the fact that people can spawn in at any time. So let's say you wipe out two of three players on the opposite team. You bet your sweet ass they'll be coming right back if they have a competent player on the team who sits in a corner to get their teammates back. My other problems come with the self-revive feature, which is great when you're the one doing it. But when you down a guy, you're going to obviously go for that guy who's down at the start of the game instead of focusing on the guys who his teammates are right around the corner. Another thing I found a kind of a glaring problem was that every time you respawn in after dying and letting the timer run out is you drop into a surrounded area pretty much every time. So prepare to die like about a million times. But here's the hoping that you have big brain teammates that are willing to wait in the corner for you every single time. Now, listen, this map's a great concept. I like it. It's a fun, small map. It gives you some sort of a break from the regular war zone, but it has a terrible execution. But here's one of the big pros that I found. Like, for instance, you can use any weapon or skins you unlock from Modern Warfare and from Black Ops, which means it's great for me because I can still hop into every single match with my Burger Town skin that I got from buying Burger King five days in a row. Oh, before I forget, I saw someone say this about the new war zone and how it's full of skill-based matchmaking right now, which may or may not be true. It could also be that people are hopping onto the new update and want to see the new Warzone. Basically, what I'm trying to say is don't blame the skill based matchmaking for everything. Because, yes, this new Warzone map is very frustrating. But that also could be just based on how the map is played the whole way. It also seems like a lot of people multiplayer have kind of sucked the last couple hours since I've been playing, so that could also be that a lot of people from multiplayer went to Warzone. Lastly, I said at the beginning of the video, the Rebirth map is not terrible. It's a nice change of pace, but. I will say it definitely needs a little bit more than 45 players and a bit of the works around the gameplay mechanics of the new game mode and maybe turn it into a real battle royale. Also, if you could maybe try and change the name to Alcatraz, that would also be great and probably a little bit more fitting. But that's all I got for today. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the new Warzone map, if you're enjoying it or not. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, maybe subscribe for more trash content. Until next time, though, when we talk about the FFAR and how unbelievable it is in the new Warzone. Bye.